Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're given a piecewise function. We're asked to find the values of m and b that make f differentiable everywhere. So the problem with this is that we have the function is guaranteed to be differentiable when x is less than 2. It's guaranteed to be differentiable when x is greater than 2. But where these two functions meet, we might have a problem if we don't have the right values of m and b. So first, finding the derivative. The derivative, if x is, is less than or equal to 2, is the derivative of this function, which is with the power function. You just bring down the exponent, then our new exponent is going to be the old one, minus 1, which is 2 minus 1, which is just x to the first power, which is just x. So we have the derivative there. Then we have this linear um, expression right here, so the derivative is just going to be the coefficient of the x term. So m, if x is greater than 2. We need f to be differentiable everywhere, so when x is equal to 2, 2x has to be equal to m. For that to be the case, 2 times 2 equals m, because here we're dealing with x is equal to 2, so m is equal to 4. So now we know that x is equal to 4x plus b if x is greater than 2, and still x squared if x is less than or equal to 2. Now we're saying, okay, this works. The derivative is going to be continuous across the function, but we don't actually know if the function is continuous. x squared has to equal 4x plus b when x is equal to 2. Again, it's continuous here, it's continuous here, but it has to be continuous everywhere for it to be differentiable everywhere, since being differential implies that it's continuous. So when x is equal to 2, 2 squared is equal to 4 times 2 plus b. 4, 2 squared, is equal to 8. 4 times 2, 8 plus b. Subtracting 8 from both sides, we get negative 4 is equal to b. Therefore, this is equal to x squared if x is less than or equal to 2, and 4x minus 4 if x is greater than 2. It, the, function, the problem is asking us to look for our values of m and b, which can be 4 for m and negative 4 for b. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.